Hello, Conan O'Brien here. We have a ritual now in America whenever something terrible happens. Our nation goes into shock and hundreds of people like myself come on television and try to make sense of it all. Now it used to be a task reserved for newscasters and pundits, but over the years it has inexplicably expanded to include celebrities and comedians. Now, sadly, I've had to do this too many times whenever there's been an act of terrorism or a school shooting. But today feels very different. We're rightfully sickened by the needless killing of a black man named George Floyd, but it doesn't feel right for me to talk about my feelings of sadness and anger. To do that today feels inadequate and even somehow wrong. Our national crisis is that a large and vital community in our country is in real pain. Pain because they do not feel safe or dignified or seen. And most important of all, they do not feel heard. So I'd like to use my very small piece of television today, not to speak, but to listen to someone I respect who knows what it's like to be black in America in 2020. Van Jones is here and I am very grateful for his time tonight. Now it's in my nature to try and hit one note of optimism before we begin, but even optimism can feel hollow at the moment. My favorite writer is Abraham Lincoln, and he once told a country that had almost destroyed itself over race to strive on to finish the work we are in to bind up the nation's wounds. Yet tragically, here we are, 155 years later, still struggling to heal that terrible wound. It is taking too goddamn long, and if talking heads like me and everyone watching any television anywhere tonight can really listen, maybe we can find out why.